Namaste, hello everyone, it's me 53 back again with my another video and today we're gonna do a view of this thing and the dog is barking out there. OMG. Forget about that, just 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 concentrate on this one. <laughs> I'm doing a review on this um, uh, six-in-one professional powder, whatever it is, and it, it was given to me by one of my good friends at work. So I just thought, why don't I do a review for you people and see how it um, goes with my face, with my skin tone, so that you guys have an idea of what this product is actually like, because um, it has been marketed really well. It comes in this um, cardboard kind of box and it says it's a total makeover kit here but I'm just going to try on all this product that has been shown um, they say that it is like all-in-one kind of product that you can use everywhere in your face and today I have this light one so I'm a kind of a medium um, shade person but it was given to me by friend and it, it was a light so I don't know how it's gonna be on my skin but anyway I'm gonna try it for you guys so and there is this huge like a instrument box that we used to have in school like so that's a box it's it's a tin box and it looks like this okay so at the back there's pretty plain and a lot of colors out here so I'm just gonna open that up just for you guys okay just hold on so here we go that's the instruction for the total kit it just has this many products in here if you can see and I'll take out things one by one to show you guys these are two brushes that they have mentioned pretty soft brushes so it's like um, just a normal kabuki brush I would say for the powder and they also say you can contour with this one I don't know we'll find out very soon so just two brushes they don't have any uh, label on it it just says thin lazy pretty much two pencil it comes with a sharpener on the top and it's a two color one of them is brown as you can see and one of them is dark black and pencil looks something like this I'm sure they're both same color same color okay so that's two browns and that's two black this one looks like somebody have used it but I don't know if it is true because uh, I just opened the package so I don't know about that okay let's just um, put this down and see what else do I have in the box so I have this compact kind of powder here which has like a Oh, I don't even know. Yep, that's a six-in-one powder, compact. Um, it works as a foundation and a compact both. And I have two of them. So two of them with the same color. If you want me to do the swatches, I'll just do it on my. Oh, that's pretty much my skin tone. Can you see? It doesn't even. Um, can't even see because it's it's exactly my skin color oh my god so it's a compact two of them two compacts okay and it's a pretty good size not very big not very small and they say they have two glam shine lip glosses so these are like a glue literally it looks like a glue so it's a gloss and the packaging for this gloss is so plain I would say <laughs> very plain it looks exactly like a glue and it smells um, fra fragrant but as I said it is it looks like a glue to me and that's all it had maybe I'll just um, put on a base for it like a primer and uh, um, my BB cream for today because we have this foundation compact so I'll just put on those and be right back so I have applied my BB cream um, just a Garnier BB cream, a little bit of top shape tape on under my eyes because I'm looking pretty dead today as you can tell. So I'm just going to take these powder, oh my god, I really don't like powders because it goes everywhere. <laughs>
So I've moved the camera a bit closer so that you can see what the powder looks like on the face and as you can see it's not very very cakey like a powder that's why I don't like using a lot of powder because I think it makes my face look cakey so yeah that's what it looks close up you can see I still have the fine lines under my eyes here that never goes away with anything so start with the pencil that they have and see how that looks on my eyebrows I have to be honest with you guys I'm not very sure if I want to apply this on my eyebrows but uh, I'm just gonna line it I don't know if you can see this in camera, but it's living big, big blob. <sighs> How does my eyebrows look? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so, I'm so insane, guys. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead with the spoolie and uh, just trying to blend it a little bit. color on your eyes and it's so dark well it's really dark I might just rub some off from the I'm so scared to even do spoolie on this one because I think it's gonna it's gonna go around like it just feels like that I don't know I'm just very scared at the moment Okay, it's like I have put a big um, brown hair color on on my eyebrows. So it is pretty dark and it is pretty intense. I think I'm looking like a <laughs> Dracula. <laughs> oh my god. 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 Okay, I think that's all for the uh, eyebrows. Now I'm gonna move in with the eyeshadow. They say you can use this as eyeshadow as well. So I'm just gonna put that powder as eyeshadow as well. So I'm just, just take a little bit of product in it and then just place it on top of my eyes. Oh my god, what am I doing? So they say it's supposed to be for eyes, contour, uh, face powder. I don't know how they're supposed to say that with the same powder. Like, look how dark it is. Can you see that darkness on my eyes when I apply it? That's how dark it was. And I thought that my skin was gonna get like that dark. I don't mind using it as a base eyeshadow, uh, to be honest, because I like how it's um, sitting on my eyes rather than on my face because um, yeah I just thought it was very dark and I still think it's very dark intensify a bit more on the corners here so that I can create a bit of smoky eye I don't know what I'm doing but I'll just do it it's not very pigmented, but it does uh, work like any random eyeshadow. Um, so as you can see, that's like, I don't know what to say, but that's how it, it, it is looking at the moment. I'm gonna apply a little bit of my, another bit of Joya and Wadabi, okay? In a 
corner to the middle part on my eyes. See how pigmented these ones are in comparison to the Thin Lizzy powder. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay. So. I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing at the moment. It just looks very, very <laughs> weird. Oh my god, I'm gonna put more of that Thin Lizzy on the crease and blend it out with this golden color that I just put in. Okay, so that's how it works with the eyeshadow. You can see it on the outer corner and the crease. Um, but I applied heaps of it, so it is not as pigmented as other ones. You have to take a lot of product to work it out, and uh, look how much product it is. Like, it's still all over my brushes. So that was it, and now I think I'm just gonna go in with this pencil that came with the uh, Lizzie and apply it on. I don't know guys, I have a doubts when I apply this, but I'll just try it. Oh my god, let's let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Oh, actually this is not bad. Actually, this is not bad. Like, um, it's dark and it's black and I like it. It's easy to apply. It's not very really hard, like you don't have to rub it too much. It's okay, this, I should say this, this is, this is good. The liner is good. Can you see that? Like black and um, nice the lines are doesn't look clumpy to me I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on the other eye okay I might use this a lot actually uh, in coming days because I do like something very simple and easy to apply on my eyes when I'm in rush and this is perfect for those days like, it's easy you just draw a line and that's it but we'll see if it transfers on the eyes later on um, I'll leave it right now and it's pretty dried as already which I like um, you don't really have to um, do a double or triple or anything um, thing now once it's drawn so what do you say guys it looks pretty good not bad I'm liking that um, I might apply a bit more on the corners and bring it like a little bit down on the corners like so what do you say I think it's gonna apply really well on the waterline um, I really don't like the way I look when I apply it on the waterline, so I'm gonna leave it for now. But yeah, just look at that. It looks pretty good. Okay. The only thing that I like from this package is this. Alright, so that's all it is about the Thin Lizzy. And uh, I've applied the powder on my face. I've applied uh, eyeshadow kind of base kind of thing on my eyes and I've also done the brows with that brown pencil that was in it which is pretty intense and dark I never do this dark and intense eyebrows but um, hey that's thin Lizzie OMG look at that eyebrows oh my god it's like somebody put a, a dark brown caterpillars on my eyes oh my god look at them. oh my god oh my god oh my god, <laughs> oh my oh my god. god. Um, did I drop it off? Or let it be. Let it be. I'm just gonna apply a bit of blush and everything, bronzer and a bit of contour, and then be 
right back with that eyebrows. <laughs> so that's the finished look. Um, I went ahead and applied a bit of my blusher. Uh, well, they say you can apply this as a as this powder as a bronzer and contour and all that. Um, but I really didn't want it to give it a try because I already saw that product. It's a lot of lot of uh, effort to build up that darkness. So I just didn't. Um, I just applied my um, Anastasia on the side and a little bit of um, Zuvia Palace blush palette. Um, um, on volume two around my cheek. Not too much, uh, just a little, little bit of it, and um, the powder. That powder is so chalky, like um, it only sits outside of my skin. It doesn't look like it's my skin. It's shiny and it's chalky, and it only sits like outside. I mean, I'll give it two out of five because um, I really love the, the eyeliners. It is pretty dark and it is pretty smooth, I would say. It looks really nice. It's not transferring up or down or anything like that. And I think it would be really good for the waterline um, if you are one of those um, who apply um, casual kind of thing. But I really don't like when I apply it on the waterline because I look very cheeky. <laughs> and I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't like uh, the dark liner or pencil on my waterline it just doesn't look right for me um, but yeah uh, the pencil was really good I don't know about the eyebrows it's um, maybe you need lighter hand than me I was using very light hand but it still was too dark for me so it's not my kind of thing in this lip gloss it's like any other lip gloss you know there's nothing so new about this formula or anything like that it's just a clear the gloss that you can just put it on on top of any of your um, liquid lipstick or any lipstick to make that glossy effect um, and then it's not heavy but like um, like you can feel that sticky feeling in like um, every time you talk or do anything um, you can feel that your lips are wet that's what I'm feeling right now when I'm talking in the camera and I'm not applying my highlighter today because um, I skipped that with that Thin Lizzy powder and all the other powders that I've used it just feels like I'm putting a lot of powder on top of my uh, skin like layers and layers of it so I just thought I would skip that for today and my skin has that glow already which is pretty much like a highlight one of my friends was saying that my skin looks pretty highlighted without a highlight because it's a, it's a lighting issue I guess um, I don't know um, but anyway that means everybody's watching thanks for supporting till now and I hope you will continue supporting me uh, I'll come up with different ideas if you have any ideas please just comment down below and let me know anything that you want me to know bad good not satisfied not entertain anything like anything that's what makes me do more you know like once I know what you people um, are thinking about me while watching me and you tell me then I'll, I'll, I'll have a chance to improve it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and stay tuned for next video and that's all for today have a nice day stay beautiful and stay happy bye for now Press the subscribe button right now and don't forget to press the bell as well.